this crochet project I'm using my 4 millimeter crochet hook. For the beads I'm using my 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. But you don't need to have the 3.5 millimeter. You can use a smaller hook if you need to. The beads that I'm using is by the Beadery Bead Extravaganza. It's a bright mix. It comes with 2300. And some of them have like a glittery look to them and then others are just plain. But I love these beads because first of all the price was good for the amount that you get. But also the holes on the beads are fairly large which makes it very easy to crochet with. So with this crochet hook you can see that I can scoop the bead up easily. It doesn't go all the way through the crochet hook but you don't need it to. You just need the tip of the crochet hook to fit through the bead. So you can see that when it's laying, the beads laying on your table, you can easily scoop it up to crochet with it. So if you find beads with smaller holes, you can use a smaller crochet hook. Just make sure that the, the tip is able to fit through your bead. And I also have tutorials where you can use a tapestry needle if the hole is too small and you can't fit the crochet hook through. So I have crochet dolls, a crochet doll that I show how to use this method as well as the um, coin purse. I have a beaded coin purse where I used a tapestry needle to bead. But on this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to use your crochet hook for a simple quick and easy method for crocheting beads onto your project. I also have my pair of scissors and a tapestry needle just for sewing the loose yarn ends in. I'm going to use my baby shower favor dress to demonstrate adding beads. I have a free written pattern for this on my blog, www.helenmaycrochet.com. I'm also an Amazon affiliate, so you will find all kinds of great links for Amazon. And one of the things that you can purchase on Amazon, I give the link for these beads. Also, you'll find free trial links for Amazon. Amazon Prime, you get free movies, free music, and free shipping for a low rate. So I have some links for free trials if you want to try Amazon Prime for free. So I'm just going to join my yarn at the bottom of the dress. So you don't have to make this crochet project in order to add beads. You're going to be able to use the technique that I use for adding beads for whatever crochet project that you're making. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how I joined my yarn for this dress that I already made. So now I want to chain one after joining and then I'm going to go into the next stitch over behind my loose yarn end to bring up a loop. Then I'm just going to lift the both loops up slightly and then bring my crochet hook out. Then I'm going to take my smaller crochet hook and I'm just going to scoop up one of the beads. Then I'm going to take and hook the loop and then bring the bead through with my crochet hook. Then I'm going to take my regular crochet hook, go back through the loops, and then I'm going to go ahead and finish the single crochet. and then you've added your bead. It's that easy. So then in the next stitch I'm going to just make a regular single crochet and then in the next stitch I'm going to put another bead. So I'm going to show you this again. So I'm going to take and pick up my bead. I'm going to go through the loop, hook the yarn, and then bring the yarn through the bead. Then I'm going to take my crochet hook, go back through both loops, and then just cinch the loop down around the bead, and then finish your single crochet. And then you're adding these beautiful beads along the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and show you one more time. 
I'm going to go ahead and just snip my loose yarn in to get it out of the way. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch, bring up a loop. I have two loops. I'm going to go ahead and hook my bead. I'm going to take and grab the yarn loop with my crochet hook. I'm going to bring the bead through Take my regular crochet hook, go back through the loops to complete the stitch. So really easy method for adding beads. So I'm going to go ahead and just make one more. So I'm going to go into my next stitch, bring up a loop. Then I'm going to grab my smaller crochet hook, just grab a bead, grab the loop with my hook, bring the bead over the tip of the crochet hook with the yarn, and that brings the yarn right through. Then I'm going to take my regular crochet hook and resume. So it's that easy. Then, when you reach the beginning, you just make a slip stitch and then finish off. Just yarn over and pull enough yarn through to bury into your work. So you can see how it just bedazzles your crochet work. 